An experiment was carried out to determine the rate of transpiration in three plants, A, B, and C. Plants A and B belong to different species while plant B and C belong to the same species. Plant C had all its leaves removed. The three plants were of similar size and were exposed to the same environment conditions. The results are as shown in the graph in the image. Suggest habitat for plant A and B. Give reasons for your answer. Plant A arid or desert plant. The rate of water loss was very low. Plant B wet or aquatic plant. The plant had a very high rate of transpiration and lost a lot of water. Water on the surface of spongy and palisade cells that is inside the leaf evaporates. The process in which a liquid turns into a gas and then diffuses. Diffusion, the movement of particles, that is molecules or ions, from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration out of the leaf. This is called transpiration. More water is drawn out of the xylem cells inside the leaf to replace what has been lost. Water molecules have a tendency to stick together. So as water leaves the xylem to enter the leaf, more water is pulled up behind it. This produces a continuous flow of water and dissolved minerals moving up the xylem tube from the roots, up the stem and into the leaves. This is known as the transpiration stream. Movement of water through the roots. The movement of water up the xylem means more water must be drawn in through the roots from the soil. To do this, water passes from root cell to root cell by osmosis. Osmosis is the net movement of water molecules across a partially permeable membrane from a region of low solute concentration to a region of high solute concentration. As water moves into the root hair cell down the concentration gradient. Concentration gradient means that the difference in the concentration of a chemical across a membrane, the solution inside the root hair cell becomes more dilute. This means that there is now a concentration gradient between the root hair cell and adjacent. This pattern continues until the water reaches the xylem vessel within the root, where it enters the xylem to replace the water which has been drawn up the stem. Next question.